the Weird Girls Club Podcast, with your hosts, Maeve and Amy. Hi. Hi. We're back. Hi. Hi. We always repeat ourselves at the beginning of episodes, you know? We're yeah, always, we actually hi. do. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. We always do stuff like that. I don't know if it's because we don't really know how to start the episode. Because yeah, there's none of this, like, this episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Maeve and Amy. I was going to say Manscaped. No, I no free pommel. No. This, the ambiance of Toronto City. To before. Manscaped. Did they? Now, how we can vouch about Aaron. Manscaped. Aaron! <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? That makes no sense. Yeah, because it's like a man shaver, like a bald shaver. Yeah. <laughs> kind of insulted, like, but... Well, oh, I didn't know they did want us to be bending over, shaving each other's bleeding arse crack? Well, I mean, Aaron could use it and we give them Aaron's review. Do you honestly think Aaron would use it and be like, here's my honest review from sa- shaving me ball sack? But I think, is it just a ball shaver or is it a head shaver too? It's, no, like, it's is not, it just a no, razor? I, I, it's like, it's, I think it's for your nether regions. Mm. Sorry, you reading to broaden your... Oh, I didn't really want to know them. Just because it's stuck in me toot. Are you at yours well? Oh, You're for leading me. I shoved it all in my mouth and now I can't... Yeah, but I'm about to win doing this. <laughs> Talking with ball sack. Hit me, <laughs> <laughs> me in the face with him. <laughs> no, don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh, I, I made a mistake shoving this in my mouth. What do you think I was going to say? I should really say that about a lot of things. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> 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 Um, I'm, I'm a little bit of a sugar. <laughs> that was like stuffing me too. Don't worry, they have me in them. They're like. Are you even talking English? <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? I said that. that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Junior. I said that one was stuck in me too, and then he gave me another one, and I just shoved it all in me mouth. Yeah, but you didn't say that that slowly and clearly a minute ago. But no. 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 Only activity. How many steps are you saying? <clears throat> Oh. Mine's been on charge for about a week. I keep forgetting to put on. 9,057. Wow. wow. She a runner. She a track star. Change her life one day at a time. 10 steps a day. Yeah. Oh, 10 steps. <laughs> 10 steps a day. 10K steps a day. What, my AA? The 10 steps? Yeah. The 10 steps are changing your life. But yeah, enough talk about like manscaping balls and shoving things in our mouth anyways. Not us <laughs> shoving things in our mouth. You shoving things in your mouth. Well, you dangled something in your mouth there a minute ago yeah, as well in front of people to I see. I teased myself with mm, the first. She teasing me nothing, nothing. I teased me with a good time. <laughs> um, but yeah, we kind of like, not that we have a structured episode in the mix. We're just having a chatty of take it. Sometimes I like to take down random notes and I think it's funny then when I like to name. So I talked about this this week. <laughs> And they're the most randomest things. Like, you got it, girl. You got it. Um, right, what are they? But, oh, I, this wasn't actually on the notes, but I feel like I am kind of invented a new sandwich acronym today. What's that mean? Do you know the way you have, like, a BLT? And it's for, like, an acronym's like the BLT, so it's bacon, that's from. I feel like I created a new one today. Because I was going to make a BLT, but then realised I had no tomatoes. So then I mixed it up a bit and then while I was sitting there eating Hold it. on. BLT? Yeah, like veggie bacon, but like it's too complicated when you're like VBLT. It's VBLT. <laughs> a VBLT, BBL, fucking whatever else. But um, so I was sitting there eating it then. <laughs> I actually just exposing how weird I am sometimes. So I was sitting there eating and then I was like, if this was in the sh- <laughs> If this was in a shop or on a deli, like what would it be called? Because like I, me inspo was a BLT. Mm. But it's not a BLT because one, there's no tomatoes on it and then like just extra ingredients, right? So I was sitting there eating it and then I was like, the club. <laughs> what the club? The club sandwich. So it was... <laughs> so it's like a club sandwich. Yeah, but in L, so it's club. Like C-L-O-B. Do you want to try guess actually what the ingredients were? So it was C-L-O-B. So L for lettuce. Yeah. B for veggie bacon. Yeah. O for what the fuck is O that you put on a sandwich? Ooh. Onion. Yeah. Only one more. And what's it? The C. I'm C. The C. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Cheese. Cheese. Lettuce. 
onion, cheese, lettuce, onion. Oh my god, cheese, lettuce, onion, and bacon. The club. So just a sandwich. Yeah, but I thought it'd be fun to give it a name. Do you know what I mean? You're like, oh, I'm gonna get a club sandwich, or I'm gonna get a BLT. Like you know what they are. Like they're already made sandwich. I was like, oh, I've just created the What's club. What's a club sandwich? Chicken, cheese, cheese lettuce. I think, no, I'm trying to... But it's like, it's multiple layers of bread. It's like oh, three... Oh, club, I don't think means what's on it. I think so. I think it isn't a standard club sandwich like chicken, lettuce and shit like that. Like, I don't really know because I obviously don't eat it. Like, there's nothing new on the sandwich. No, it, the club... Sorry, the club sandwich isn't like an acronym. It's just... Yeah, that's what I mean. It, widely type known type of sandwich. Mm-hmm. You get me? That it's not like, oh, I'm having a ham sandwich or I'm having a chicken three piece bread, lettuce and tomato sandwich. You're just like, oh, I'll have a club whatever the fuck's on a club sandwich <laughs> but like I, that, uh, that that was just my random toss day and I was sitting there eating my breakfast and with me clubs <laughs> and when you said club I thought it was going to be C-L-O-B-B oh no I don't know I could club a C-O-O-B-B C-O-B-B oh. like a carb salad carb salad what is carb? the type of salad hmm does that, I know, does it, uh, I actually don't know, I've never, or, I hear people, or, like, a cob salad. I've heard it in movies and stuff. Yeah, like. apparently it's, like, really nice. It's, like, stuff weedy as well. It's oh. not, like, all this, like, like. Ricky Dicky shit. Yeah, it's not, like, walnuts and strawberries and all oh. salads. Like, I don't know how people do it. I've never tried it, not gonna, not gonna. First of all, like I don't, like, like, not walnuts, so I'd never have a yeah. walnut. I just don't like the idea of savoury, uh, like, fruit with savoury food. Like, strawberry salad. Maybe when I'm, like, 40. Pineapple I mean, and pizza. taste buds change again. No. I might be, like, oh, I'm here for it. But right now I'm like not. Mm. No, I'd actually love it. What? A Nutella crepe with strawberries on it. Mm. It was in the eating center earlier, and there was like a crepe station. I was like, oh my oh, god, I'd love that. Oh, you have to get now. a Gino's when you go home. The crepes out there. Oh, they're overrated. Yeah, they make you sick after three bites. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you're like I'm after waiting and watching you make it, and then you have to take like three bites. And you're like, mm, yeah, I know sick. I wanted the novelty, but now I'm mm. like over. But um, but yeah, I just smelled the crepes earlier. I was like, well, that's big. But yeah, that was my morning breakfast thought when I was having me sandwich this morning. Sure. The inventor of a new sandwich. Don't want what I had for breakfast. Yeah. Coffee. Coffee. Mm. Coffee is not a meal. Then I was school dragged out of some thought. Oh. Sad. There's no lions when you live with someone. No? Yeah, no, I just deck him coming in every morning, waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Then again, I would rather him wake up early than be like a slob and like sleep till like 2 in the day. Yeah, that's true. He has like, he wakes up and he's motivated like yeah he's so, he's the sees the day type like of he's person. up like let's be the dog walk the dog like mm. like good for him but shy so I shouldn't really complain but I'm not gonna tell him that no do I mean just keep them partnerships but for reason we crept out this morning to watch the Crep- football out here I did I but I hear, like I'm just a light yeah I you hear him you and then I heard Trent jump on the bed mm. like. And then Trent put his head on my arse, like, and the heat oh. off him. I was like, Personal all right. space. Yeah, no, like, he's like, are you awake, mama? Are you awake? I'm here, mama. But yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Let me check my notes of other thoughts that I had. You had some pet peeves, you were saying? Oh, yeah, I've had some pet peeves. I think we done a whole episode of me going in on pet peeves, but they're, they, these are ones which is weird that I, like, didn't think of at the time. But anyways. My pet peeves grow every day. Yeah, like I remember more. I'm like, oh my god, I fucking hate that people. But people. right, this one, this bugs me, and I don't know how people do it. People watching TikToks out loud in public. What is wrong? I don't get that. Like you're just sitting there full blast scrolling through your for you page. What do you mean? Like, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see that. Like, and it, this came from I was sitting. I was going to get me nails, and I was sitting waiting for like to go over to the girl and there was a girl sitting beside there was two girls sitting beside me so it was me one girl and another girl like in a tree the girl in the middle was li- was watching tiktok full blast and like i kind of looked over because she was scrolling real fast as well that she wasn't even watching them so then it was like it was like bleh, 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 like joe loads of different noises real fast and i'm like that's actually even more than sitting there watching a whole video video that i can just listen to but isn't that just so entitled i think that's so rude it is it's but, just so like, entitled i don't know if i overthink my surroundings as to not make other people not uncomfortable but like not to irritate this, they, like annoy them yeah like i'm just like, here, like would like, you want them there then sitting blasting their tiktoks that's what I said, like, how, like, imagine we, imagine we were all sitting there with our TikToks on loud, because if you can do it, I can do it, and the other girl sitting there can do it, but then imagine that, yeah. three of us sitting there, TikTok on full blast, scrolling, scrolling, I'm just like, what? Was she on? Um, 
probably your age, maybe a bit older. That even annoys me more. Yeah. It's like you're just so self entitled about dressing around. Yeah. It's like you're entitled to play just our TikToks there, as loud like, as you want. Like, I was just like, oh my God, so on. That grinds me here. I would have like fucking. Yeah. It. I, never, well, I wouldn't have, but I would have loved it. Yeah, like I don't, I don't think I ever go on TikTok in public. But it's like when people play like that music. Yeah. Loud on like a subway or a streetcar. Oh. It's like, I don't, don't want to that. listen to your shit music. Yeah. I really don't want to hear that. Like, just invest in some earphones. You can get cheap ones, like in a lot of store. If they're really necessary, like needed. Give me strength. Mm. Oh no. Yeah. But, me next one. This is a random one, and it's something that's always irritated me. But, I'm. I feel victimized. Oh, it, I swear, this just gets on my nerves. And it's. I'll just read it out. So, another pet peeve is article about celebrities, but they name every movie and song throughout the whole, like, story or interview. So, let's say it's an, an article, right? Specifically? Specifically, when I thought of this, I was like, this irritates me. It was when I was reading about, I was reading something about so uh, Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas' divorce. And now it's something that's irritated me for years, but it was like, this is when I was like, I'm putting this in a note and I'm going to bring it up on the podcast. Yeah. And I was reading through it. Tell me why I'm reading to like maybe a ten a ten fucking lion story on oh they're getting a divorce and he's in New York for and blah blah but like every time it was like mentioning Joe or Sophie it would name something they're in so like Sophie from, Turner Game of Thrones yeah so it's like Game of Thrones star Sophie Turner is divorced a divorcing Camp Rock actor Joe Jonas who's currently on tour with his brothers and then it'd be like the what name it name a song name it is uh, uh, sail away the sail away singer Courtney has the kids on tour while the fucking the do revenge actor is in england recording something else and it was like every second word was name and something and it would go from naming like jonas brother slash joe jonas songs to him being a movie so then it would go from singer joe jonas is and it'd have like a song and then it'd go to actor Joe Jones and then like I'm getting confused when you say actor are you talking about Sophia or are like, you talking about me the story yeah why do you need to name them or like if you're reading something about Beyonce it will name every single song she's ever done it'd be like love on top it'd be like the love on top singer is on a renaissance renaissance tour and um the fucking dream girls actor yeah like oh I'm like I don't get why you need to name everything yeah. I get that that's annoying like, like just cut you the fucking chase. Like you can say like <gasps> what pet peeve of mine before I forget. Right, go on tell When me. Instagram put up fucking this story like a screenshot and you wanna link in bio, you go onto the Instagram page and it brings you to that website. Why can't you just tell me in the description what the story is? Oh yeah, when it's in the caption of the story and stuff. So when I have oh, that's to, for click, them to get click and get yeah, paid. Yeah, but that's it is a peppy and a grind fingers. So you have to go onto their no, Instagram no, page. No, do you know what you do? What? You go to the comments and there's so many good people no, in there. I do go to the comments now. Yeah. But you know when there's like something and there's no comments. Yeah, you, you've seen it really early. It's like, well, I'm not going to be the one that comments, so like you can all go guess. Yeah, I hate that too. Like, why are you making me do 500 fucking clicks to read the story? Mm. And then loads of ads pop up and all. It's like, I get you're trying to get paid and all, but like, don't put 95% of the story. Stop. And for me to go on and see, just see like a name or something, like, it'll be like, oh, Drake gets arrested for this and he gets arrested with dot, dot, dot. And it's like, you want me to click on to find who gets arrested with like, fuck a man or something? Like, I, yeah. they do some stupid. Yeah, or like, high school musical actor found dead. Who? Just, just, who? Who? Who is it? Yeah or it will tell you who and then i'm like they died due to and it'll go dot 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 and i'm like how are you monetizing someone's yeah. death like just oh yeah or a new public holiday to be announced in canada yeah and then it's like no it's so annoying oh, that, like, that, yeah. no, that is a pet peeve yeah Sorry, that just popped me out when you were talking about like articles yeah things. no that that is one actually that does grow years but um me next me next one so random i think is it yeah Oh, I need to sneeze. I think it's gone, but it's sitting at my nose. I hate when this happens. Look at the light. It's gone. <laughs> so my next pet peeve, and it's irritated me for years as well, is, and I hate saying that I'm bad about her because, like, I feel bad, but I can't stand Britney Spears here. How are you a multi-millionaire and you have extensions that bad? You're speaking for the people. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, it's true like but i don't i think it's because she is I, just having a mental breakdown no her hair's always been dreadful 
it just look like you are not are Sharon from Talent. A horse when she's down. No, but like that's why I feel bad because it's like, yeah, real bad. Love, love, love you. Love your songs. Like free Britney. Do, do you? Hope your book sells millions and fuck Justin Timberlake. But like, can we do something with your extensions? Can she go like talk to a Kardashian Don't stylist? Don't talking about her hair. She'll end up fucking shaving her head again. May, uh, maybe she... She literally will. Well, a suit with her. I don't care what she does. What, I mean, I don't care what she does with her hair, but it's just like, whenever I see... I'm you like, No. I mean, I don't think about it daily. It's just whenever I see her, I'm like, why does it look like it's the cheapest of cheapest extensions? Like, and I don't wrong. know why you're even talking about her hair. What grinds my gears? <laughs> why is she still wearing low rise? Yeah... Why is she well, still I wearing like low rise? Low rise is back in for no, the skinny people. Don't it is. Say it. There's no I'm denying not even it. My, I'm, I'm still gonna wear trousers up to my chin, but there's no denying low rise I'm is Simon back out for the rest of my life. What? Simon Cowling. Does he wear high rise jeans? He always wears trousers up real far. Like that's where. I know he, he has real like. He always wears like bootleg trousers and the black pants. No, he always wears them up real high. Like yeah. that's why they like. That's what like I'll. Did you I'll, know that? I mean, I've never copped all the it. skits and all. Like, he says he wears like real high, like waisted trousers. Mm. Like, yeah. No, I know he always wears like real boot cut, and then he has the black little pointy like shoes and oh, all his little heels and all. Yeah. That. yeah. But like, yeah, like uh, I just I don't know. I'm just like I would love to see her with like luscious, like real healthy looking blonde hair. Or oh, shit. Well, yeah, whatever, whatever she wants to do at the end of the day. But it's like, how? When it, like, because I mean, there's other celebrities or there's other people out there with money. And it's like, how do you go around with? I don't even know if they are extensions, but like with extensions looking like that, they just always look mat, like matted, or just like that they've been in our hair for like six months. Probably yeah. like they don't look. They never look fresh. Probably not. Yeah, I think she's. I don't think she cares about our, our hair. To be honest, that's probably why. No, maybe she definitely not. doesn't care about our hair. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Title of this episode: Amy kicking horses when they're down. <laughs> well, she's not down. She's Dancing all over re- them. She's about to release a book that like everyone wants to read. Uh, Amy, but come on, we all know she's not the full fucking shilling right now. Like. Well, you're the one kicking horses down. I'm just saying, get a better hair stylist. Why am I kicking? Her you're some fucking. I'm defending our hair. You're saying she's bleeding. On she's the not just literally cusp of a menti, menti I'm not saying the cusp I'm saying she's in the fucking midst of one she was fucking bleeding wellness checking all her the other day because she put up a video of herself bleeding dancing with knives and all oh I saw I I saw um something that like she went she was like I'm okay like I was just dancing like I said I think Instagram fucking down I don't know what, like I mean I don't really care what she does right here but it's just something that I've always thought of like throughout everything our hair just always looks well, our hair's are your pet peeve. Yeah, our hair's just me pet peeve. I don't know why. Yeah. Not that I don't know why, it's because it looks shit. <laughs> and yeah, she turns me and goes, how am I kicking the horse down? Yeah, but, but our hair like, looks shit. And in my opinion, I'm just like, it could look... I don't know. <laughs> could look bad. Yeah. It's just like, it, like, don't get me wrong, if she doesn't have someone that she's paying a lot of money to do our hair, then fine, fair enough. <laughs> But like you just know she's paying someone thousands for extensions and it's like, how are you doing that? Can she talk to like what's your man's name? Andrew Fitzsimons? The Kardashian hair stylist I had a heel sort out with a good head of hair I'm sure. Ah, uh, she's gone through a divorce. But yeah, I hope she's doing okay and that uh, that's the least your worries, Brittany. <laughs> no fucking kill me. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, too funny. <laughs> I don't know. Whore hears me pet peeve. I don't understand why she can't get it done, but hope you're doing well, Brittany. Yeah, because like it's like at the end of the day it's not that deep. I'm just like it's a pet peeve. Oh god. But it like it's not that deep. Like realistically, who am I to say, Brittany, go get your hair done? Amy for long. <laughs> I am Amy also wear girls club pockets. But like that's what I'm saying, like at the end of it, like it's not that deep and if she wants to keep it, keep it. <laughs> it's like I can't, at the top of my head I can't think of other celebrities but there's definitely other ones where it's like your hair looks like that you know mm. but yeah have you any pet peeves she can think of <laughs> it's not Britney's hair <laughs> 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 team Britney um, do I have any more <laughs> 
people that don't like Britney's hair. <laughs> That's my pet peeve. Mm. People that slag people people's that hair. comment on our people's hair. <laughs> people that kick and horse them down. <laughs> More like booting them down the road. Uh, by the time this comes out, she probably be up and at them. <laughs> I was about to say to you, who's Adam? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm happy, I don't know that comes to me mind. Um, <laughs> just people in general. Yeah. Every time I leave the house, I literally turn around and say, this is why I don't leave the house. Oh, hey, so sure. People are just like so fucking self-titled, especially in Canada. Mm. Like, no sense of fucking their surroundings. Like, like oh, do you know what the pet peeve? Just what? thinking of it now. It's not, even, it's not even that big, but it just comes to mind. When you're waiting for the elevator right mm. and some little entitled prick comes in and just skips you and just oh. thinks like you're standing there waiting for all these elevators to come for the shits and yeah. giggles for the shits and giggles yeah I hate that that's it on pisses me don't off don't like that don't like that alone. yeah no just entitlement that's yeah yeah I think that's what no, entitlement oh another thing because obviously in America I don't know if I've said this before on the podcast I probably have but when they are ordering on, they do not say, can I have, like, can I please have? Oh, they yeah. It's say, like, I'm going to get. They're like, give me it. Yeah. Or uh, I'll have it. Yeah. It's very like, it's not like, oh, can I get? And then please and thank mm. you. There's none of that. No. The, the Americans are not very, some, no, oh, I'm not Americans saying all. Americans are probably the most entitled people in the world. They're not, um, no, some of them are lovely. Like, yeah. But like in the some. service industry and some of them they're not very nice like they'll literally look at you like why yeah. are you asking me a question like they'll look at you like you have 5,000 heads mm. and I've even realised watching Simon Wilson has new videos and he's doing like the Monopoly game all around uh, America okay. and some of them if he's asking a question and like one of the airports are like down that way to the left yeah. like like it's not our job I know like you're working in an airport yeah like I don't get that I remember that happened me when I first came to Canada I lost my passport like getting off the plane and going that. to customs like four time arriving here on my own moving here and I said it when you're I got sweetie <laughs> you're doing amazing um and I said it there was like a security person or like someone sitting just before you get to yeah so I had gotten to like the customs part and I was getting my passport out like before I joined the queue and I was like oh my god it's not gone like it's gone and I was panicking and I was looking through everything wasn't there and I said to him I was like oh I'm like I'm about to lose my passport like I I had to obviously getting through Ireland and getting onto the plane but like <laughs> what can I do like I don't know where it is and he just goes to me maybe try re- retrace your steps or something and I was like what I was like so I could just get go, walk back and get back on the plane not looking like a bleeding mad like, terrorist or something like I like what am I supposed to he was like he was just like um have you tried retracing your steps? Where was it? And someone handed it so, so, yeah, someone who was sitting a few rows behind me in Irish room. I like went to go retrace my steps and try to go back towards fucking the plane, like see if anyone was still there. Like I, I don't know what I thought I was gonna do, but I remember panicking. And I remember just hearing a woman be like, "Sorry, are you Amy?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Here's your passport." And I was like, "Oh my god, thank you so much." I nearly started crying. I was like, "Oh my god, like I'm literally only at a cop and it was gone." And she was like, "No, you literally dropped it just as you were getting off the plane." She said, "But like by the time we got out for the people." like people behind us who were like you were kind of like gone and uh, she was like oh, i must have been saying him she was with like our partner or something like they were an older couple and she was like, Identi- been, I must have been saying to- yeah literally and she was like oh i must have been saying to him that poor girl that was sitting in front of us she's on her own she's probably only moving it like she was like <laughs> she was Aww. going through she's like oh i felt so bad for you i was like i hope we can catch like up and get her and i was like oh my god no you're after saving me because like Imagine. everyone was texting me from home and i was trying to like get on what do you even do if you lose your passport oh i don't know but between, the impact- like, not allowed technically like would i have been sent country. back home that's what i mean that, like, like, how would you even get back into your passport control when you yeah. get home because you have no passport yeah are you just going to be in limbo that's are you going to live in dublin terminal one yeah terminal two wherever one you flying to like i don't know but that that's what it's like he's like, poxy paying ring a ring rose around all these lights ring a ring oh trent into bed because you're definitely not getting into a new country for the first time like that you need like a visa and everything mm. like to get into passwords i don't know and then i couldn't even connect to the wi-fi properly like so i tried to connect to it and then i did connect and then like loads of messages were coming through and then like, i was like seeing all the group chats like my family being like oh well like it's our flight like says she's landed but like i haven't heard right and they're all trying to ring me and i'm like i've literally just landed at, in a <laughs> new a country and i'm absolutely wrangled by me cabin bag because it wasn't a wheelie one because mm. i had a big ordeal in the airport where all my stuff that wouldn't fit anyways 
but it wasn't a wheel one so i was absolutely strangled with like all the stuff i had and i was like dating guys times just give them a quick call and i'm off to fly like lacty day yeah i'm, off, I'm off to fly five minutes like i'm like I, please let me breathe but yeah like, i don't even know what fucking time zone i'm in yeah, right now like i'm yeah it was a, a mess he hit this dog this dog testing the patience no he's binding his fucking time <laughs> But yeah, uh, I don't know how we got on top of the airport. But did, have you have you any more pet peeves around? Oh, I don't know what. When Trent doesn't listen to me as a pet peeve, it, he just done this. Mm-hmm. Like side eye, I'm best side eye. Probably yeah, uh, criminal offensive. You no, know, he's on edge because Aaron has to leave. No, I know. But like, if we keep talking, he might eventually. Yeah, he will. Get he'll get it. bored. He'll get sick of sitting um, here, or he'll stay there till Aaron comes back. Yeah, like I got to mind my soul sisters. Oh, that didn't last long. He doesn't miss um, Aaron that much. Where so I don't have sisters. Okay, sisters. So you, why did you do that? What? You oh, start clicking click. and he turned around. He's like, "Oh, you want me?" I have never clicked at you once in your whole like new two and a half Bet. years you've been here. Why but would I click B-E-D. at you now? My leg keeps locking when I'm putting up like that. <laughs> um, do you have any other pet peeves <laughs> around? Um, no, not any I can think of at the top of my noggin. Noggin. Should oh. we move on? To some of the iconic women that you mentioned. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I don't. We I have don't... talked about pet peeves for about forty minutes. Yeah, we have. Um, I randomly talked about the week. Like, who do you think is the most iconic woman in the world? Like that globally, dead or alive? Know. Dead or alive? Yeah. Can we pick one dead and one alive? If you want, yeah. Right. Well, when you say dead, if it was dead, mm. obviously I straightway think of like Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn. In Who do you think is more famous? Oh, oh, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Marilyn Monroe. But I prefer Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, I see that. I love Audrey Hepburn. Mm. Um, then Alive, when you say iconic, and who doesn't know this person? Like, straight away, you think of, like, Beyonce and yeah. Britney Spears and Kim Kardashian. I don't... I don't want to seem like a Britney hater. But, like... I feel like there's a lot more. Oh, I don't know, actually. No, like Britney's... yeah, she's iconic. But do you think you could go to like a remote location in the world and they'll know who Britney Spears is? Well, if you went to like a remote location and there was a, a tribe that only well, eight obviously people, they have no internet. Oh, but that's what I mean. But yeah, hundred percent. Britney oh. walked so the rest of them yeah, could run. That, that's the thing. It's like that. I don't mean it in a bad way, but it's like people who've came out who've been around a lot longer, they tend to, like... I don't want to say be forgotten, because, like, obviously, Britney's an icon. Britney's had but, like, too many, f- like, songs. Britney's yeah. had too many iconic That thing is, songs. like, you forget the people who have... Like, sometimes you forget, like, how they've paved the way. Like, when you think back of, like, either stuff Britney was doing or, like, Christina Aguilera or... Yeah, see, I like, would you, say Christina Aguilera is, like, like, one of the most iconic women. See, either would I, but then when you Even think she has of, a better voice. Yeah, but that's what I say. Is like when you, I think when you think of them, in a sense that like what they done, like they knock down so many like stereotypes and like doors for like pop stars today and singers today that like you kind of forget like oh something that maybe who could be used for an example something that say Billie Eilish is doing today, ten years ago when or twenty years ago whenever when Christina Aguilera done that it was the talk of the town or it was all like i can't give a proper proper example but when you think of like even say like certain music videos or certain like photo shoots or album covers or stuff that's talked about in songs or whatever it is it's like it's mad to think back a few years ago even in like the early 2000s at how much controversy was just constantly surrounded by like women in that industry yeah. like they couldn't do and everything was like they were being sexualized like if you look at magazines from the early 2000s of how like oh britney spears has a bit like has added 10 pounds and you look well, at her now talk and about our boobs our face and all like but so. that's what i'm saying or it's like oh jennifer anderson is hitting bleeding torty and she's sagging a bit and it's like you're looking at her like she's a size like eight or a size six yeah where when you think of now i don't think every industry is fully like on board or doing everything they can for say like mid to plus size people but like can you imagine years ago 
all the stuff and they're like oh look at her no she needs a note like they blatantly put pictures on the front page of magazines being like oh she could do with no job or she's like look at these wrinkles or look yeah, at like you wanted they've gained, to be cookie cutter, yeah you know I mean? like, like they've gained so much weight and you're like she probably weighs like fucking 80 pounds and i'd be like well barbara streisand didn't need a nose job and i think her career was pretty yeah fucking fine like it was like as much as i think there's a lot about still about image today i do think like you're like it's mad to just even think of some of the stuff that went on the cover of like people magazine or like remember things like perez hilton's blog where like they'd like they'd expose celebrities or like just certain things were so scandalous then that like they happen today and you're like ah and it's like crazy things that the backlash that some people got over like the stupidest things where Mm. now people are getting cancelled left right and center and then they're back to fame like a week later like yeah it's just crazy how things change and evolve whether it's for the better or not with certain things mm. like it's mad to think about so how did it, what was the start of it oh yeah who iconic women they're just the ones like when i think of straight away like yeah. right now like or like a lot of people would say oh no madonna yeah but i just to well, me it's because i didn't grow up listening to me like madonna wasn't not that I didn't grow up, but Madonna was a bit gone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? she's older, like. Yeah, no. But if you ask me in the 80s or 90s, who's the most iconic woman, people would probably say, oh, Madonna, hands down. Yeah. Do you, do That's what I'm saying, saying. Like that, like, she's How definitely changes, paved yeah. the way for certain things. Like, she was singing about, like, a version, like, about when that came out, like, it would have been so controversial. The same way, like, do you remember when Katy Perry, I Kissed a Girl, came out? And I remember sitting in the back of a taxi with me ma, and the radio was talking about, and they're like, how on earth is she putting this in little girls' minds that kissing the girls, okay? And it's crazy to think that at one point that was actually a reality, that she mm. was getting saved. That was like, oh my God, like, there's young kids looking up to her, and she's talking about kissing a girl. Can, like, can you imagine if a radio show said that now? They'd be slated for not being included. Oh yeah, and I was like, it's mad to just think that it was like a memory unlocked the other day where I talked about that. And I was like, I can remember that sitting in the back of the taxi and that song was everywhere. And then the radio but everyone host, loved that song. Yeah, mm. but then it was like, oh, like I don't know. Then it was like people were talking about it. it's like, yeah, like when it came out. Not that we would have seen everything, but like it definitely would have been controversial for its time. Where now people come out and lead and Cardi B yeah, and Megan like, can do WAP. Yeah, there's a little backlash, but no, imagine if WAP came out and. 2002 like mm. like i don't think necessarily like when you say like the most iconic woman i don't think you'll ever have just one iconic woman no, like, there's so many, there's like so that, many yeah. I- iconic women do you know that kind of way yeah um I d- like apparently... people would say lady gaga yeah because people have what they consider an icon to them mm. do you know what i mean yeah what they relate I was to more, as their when icon. i thought about it, i was like who do you think like not even necessarily iconic but like the most famous woman to have ever like well i ask is siri and see what she says yeah hey siri who was the most famous woman in the world here's what i found from legit ng oprah winfrey is the most famous female in 2022 oprah, oprah. the 50 most mm. popular women come from diverse i can backgrounds. see that it's just like everyone knows right like i like i think by the time i would have been old enough to watch like certain shows i don't even think oprah was doing the oprah show but yeah i know who oprah is if that makes sense yeah um but like for some reason when i thought of this question i just thought of cleopatra hear some? yeah who did they list as some of those no I, I don't think these are in order right okay right. yeah they're just mentioned so they're honorable o- mentions oprah winfrey mm-hmm. lana del rey okay rihanna definitely sure mm. um hold on it cuts off all right, so here's 50 down. Right, here's them in order. Okay, we're reading through 50. Okay. Yeah, I'll just keep going. Like, I'm not going to stop. 50, I'm not going to be like 50, 50 this most... person, 49 this person. Yeah, right. So, so it's starting 50... at 50. This is number right. 50. So this is the 50 most famous people according to... Females. The... Oh, yeah. Did I just say famous people? Yeah. The 50 most famous females in the world according to Siri. <laughs> according to Siri. Because I, some... I don't know where she took it from. It's or some a... website called Legit or something like yeah. that. I can't, I don't remember. Here we go. So it goes. Let me just fix this. So it goes Eva Longoria. Okay. Oh my god, it's giving me 10,000 things. Oh, it's right. Marilyn Monroe. I would have thought she would have been higher. Carrie Underwood. Mm-hmm. Scarlett Johansson. Wouldn't have pulled that one. 
Um, who else? Jessica Simpson. <laughs> like, uh, this is this is madness. Hold on. Like, where I suppose they're probably further on the list, but I, I don't know. Hold on. Let me t- hold on. I have to, to watch off. Because it, it's I'm too off. Yeah. I think you can click and it'll show you on your phone. Where's that? Oh, it's on Do it into your phone, hey Siri. Hey Siri. The most famous woman in the world. Okay. I'll find this on the web for the most famous. Take two. Check it out. Check it out. Hopefully this is saying that not too good. We're so organized with these episodes. Mm-hmm. For 20 minutes, just needs to be quiet. <laughs> right, just skips. And this doesn't. This isn't even all female. Do the top 10. It's not even all female. Oh. It's, gives me Justin Bieber. JB. Hey, Siri. The most famous female in the world. I found this on the web. Show Google this. All right, I'll just read some of them out that are yeah. just like literally from oh, sources yeah, yeah. across the web. Oprah Winfrey, Britney Spears, Kendall Jenner, Lady Gaga, Madonna, Princess Diana, Queen Victoria, oh, Princess Diana. Rihanna, Adele, Amelia Earhart, Anne Frank, Anne Frank, yeah. Beyonce, Jane Austen, Miley Cyrus, Rosa Parks, Selena Gomez, Cher, Hillary Clinton, Jennifer Lopez, Lana Del Rey. I don't know. I, I'm going to say the same wrong. I know who she is, but I can't say her name. It's like Malala Yousafzai. Oh. oh, yeah. I don't know how you pronounce her name. Yeah, Isn't sorry. she like a, hum- a humanitarian? Human- yeah, right. she got like shot in the head. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Um, she was a lot good. Marie, Marie Curie, Mother Teresa. And that's all I can see on this. Yeah. And Paris Hilton. Like, yeah, they are all famous, but it's like... <laughs> the most... Who was the seventh most popular women in the world? Again, Justin Bieber's on it, but Madonna, Beyonce, Rihanna, Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus, mm. Paris Hilton. Jeez, I was good to Britney Spears now. Yeah. Yeah, like I do, I do definitely agree. Like, obviously, Britney Spears. But it's like, I was trying to think of, like, I forgot about Princess Diana because I just feel like everyone knows about her. Mm hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, and everyone like, loved her, that's why. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, just people, like, I think a lot more people in history. Not in history, but like, I know, but I said. Just, I don't think people realize who's an icon until they're not really here anymore. Yeah, but when well, you really like, there is people that are like everyone. Not like you couldn't go. I don't think the majority of places in say Canada and no one knows who Britney Spears like that person. Yeah, like if you can stop someone on the street and be like, "Do you know Britney Spears?" They're gonna say yeah. Mm. Well, if you stop someone on the road and say, "Do you know who Adam Driver is?" They might not know. Him. Yeah, there's a higher chance of them not knowing him. Yeah, do you know like That's people what, yeah, that like yeah, that? Yeah. Um. But yeah, Britney Spears, like, who doesn't know the Oops, I Did It Again yeah, singer? Like, the Oops, I Did It Again singer has yeah. struck back. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. But, um, but, yeah, I think they're the most iconic. Mm. So everyone. Definitely. I don't know what I, when I, like, wrote it down, you know, it's I thought of Cleopatra. I don't know. I, I wouldn't think, have thought of her, to be honest. I think it's just, it was more like, if you said someone do you know who Cleopatra is, they've like heard her name, they kind of know of her. And it's like, she wasn't even I would even have said Anne her... Frank before I said Cleopatra. Yeah, but it's like, it, I feel like they're in the same realm of that. Like they weren't even in, they weren't even part of our generation. They weren't like, like Cleopatra was died like years and years before any of us were even here. Yet so many people know her. Well, like, they, like they, our, they our names living on. Yeah, but they didn't know her years and years because they didn't discover her. Yeah, but you know what Do I mean? Know, like, I mean, she's, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, she what she never lived this lifetime that, like, so many people... Like, when they discovered her, she wasn't even living in their lifetime, if that makes sense. Like, Anne Frank, she didn't live in her lifetime, but, like, she lived among when her grandparents were yeah, alive. Yeah, I get or, that. Yeah, I get that's that. That's what but I was was like, it's crazy to think that... I would say a lot of people in the world, you would say, have you heard of Cleopatra? And they're like, yeah. They might be able to tell you a whole story or Anne. But they're like, oh yeah. And it's like to think that like, they discovered her existence. That mm-hmm. she was never here to like. But see, I think that's where the issue is of like, say new generations. 
What do you mean? Like, I don't think, like, they even... Like, I know when I was in school, they didn't really... They didn't teach me about Cleopatra around, like... Yeah, like, I'm not necessarily saying she's an icon we'll the say, way Britney Spears is. Yeah, but, but she's... Say when I can't, say if we have kids and they go to school, they're going to be taught about Anne Frank. Well, yeah, because... Do you think Anne Frank was real? Of course she was real. Why wouldn't she be real? But, like, what if it was just, like, propaganda? What do you mean, propaganda? Like, what if it was just, What like, would you get now? Like, a uh, book, multiple movies, like... Who gets the money from her book being sold? If oh, she's dead, R.I.P. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes I just t- think about these things and it's like... This she was sh- definitely a person. Yeah. Like, but it's like, what are the chances of finding this diary? But they've never... Like, I know, obviously, like, I'm not saying it's not real around, but, like, sometimes I think about these things and I'm like, that makes a good movie. I felt... Or mean, makes a good... the diary? Like, our, like, our Anne Frank's diary, like... Yeah, a woman that was giving them the food the whole time in the building had the diary. She had all their belongings. She yeah, was hiding them. Yeah, but that's what we know. Well, the dad's vouching for it. There's other people that knew about it. Like, I don't know loads about it, so I don't, like, I'm not here to say, like, oh, I don't Yeah, like, I he don't was believe hiding in his office building. Mm. In, like, no, the I back know that. Thing. I know the and story of it. And all the staff knew, because they were doing getting yeah. the food. So it wasn't just one woman and, like, yeah. there was a whole, like, obviously his employees or whatever yeah sometimes i just think about things like that like there's so many movies and shows about like different wars and different things and i'm like do you ever i'm like obviously they're loosely based on a true story we're like when did it really go down like that because we weren't here when it happened mm. like, well, it's like the bible but it's do, only off right you know what i think it is as well like i we're living through certain wars now like ukraine russia or wherever and it's like is it's weird that in a way it's not technically affecting your life but when you read about wars and history books you feel like i don't know i just pictured the whole world in darkness but i don't know if that's just you know when you're a kid and you're learning about but these also things, like, that that was a world war yeah that's a, that's true yeah world war one yeah. world war two do you know what i mean yeah these are isol. well right now they're isolated between certain countries yeah. which not the same other like other countries aren't involved because other countries are funding yeah. certain materials. Yeah, like certain things. Yeah. So eventually. Yeah, you don't know how it's gonna. Play like if you're not a neutral country, which Ireland is an, apparently a neutral country, mm. well, that's questionable. Yeah. I, I don't. We're not. Yeah. It just. I don't know if it was just because I was thinking. I was like, it's crazy sometimes when you think about how your life goes. Like your life goes on so normal here, and then like you're just seeing news articles and like across the world like so much shit is actually happening mm. and it's crazy thing that we're just, like this is going on and we're just living normal lives where when i t- think back to like the world wars i just felt like i don't know if just because you're watching oh like the, of, the world war Two or the wars now like when you think back to world war Two, obviously it was a world war so like everywhere was kind of like in the midst of it everyone yeah and because it was it's also everyone. transporting yeah of goods and- it's just i don't know like I don't know then if it's just media that I'm like, should this not be like such a bigger deal than what it is? It becomes a big deal and affects where you're living. Mm. That, that, That's the thing. But, but I get, I it, get real honed in on things. But it is affecting people. Yeah. Like say, put it this way. If Ireland and England went to war, mm. it'd affect us. Yeah. Because we're Irish. Yeah. But think of all the pe- all the families and relatives and friends of friends and all that here that, are vo- that have that have family or are either yeah, Russian or U- yeah. Ukrainian or in Israel or Gaza. Yeah. It, that's, like, or I Palestine, know. I should say, as well as Gaza. But uh, it, I don't think it fully affects you as a human being until it, it like... Because you're, you're not connected. in it. Obviously, yeah. it's totally different. But I think having... A, like, I don't know. Sometimes I get real on things and I'm like, it's crazy that, like, this is just happening and no one's stopping it. I'm like, when does it stop? It doesn't. That's the thing. And it's like, I think it's weird to... I don't know sometimes I just think about it, like oh we're living through this but we're not there and it, then I do wonder I'm like oh like when they're writing maybe when it's in a history book if it's even gonna be in a history book in the future I'm like will the kids reading that be like oh my god like this big war was going on and yeah it's a huge deal but we're still living our lives everyday normal like I don't know I don't know how yeah if I'm it's like oh yeah like right? that war was going on when we were to say yeah blah, da, da. Where, like when I think of like when we were in history and we were reading about either like the civil war like between like ireland and northern Ireland or whatever and like different the world wars yet they were world wars so obviously everyone was involved or certain things and it's like i don't know it was just me head as a kid picture and it was like the whole world's like in darkness like did you ever see the intro to like peter pan 2 where it's just like 
they're well, all in bunkers and obviously yeah. it is like that in certain well, it was countries a lot of, have... especially europe do you know what i mean because yeah. everywhere so it was so easy to have a war mm. in europe because everywhere is so connected and a lot of it's yeah. connected by land like it's just mad things you know I mean? like all like the girlies are posting their day in the life on tiktok and i don't know i think sometimes i think about that i'm like we're just all here like and it doesn't even matter <laughs> but there's also so like, many people that are like posting about the israel no there is 100 percent. Like, yeah um and getting into arguments with people it's like put it so you were arguing with someone online it's not going to change their opinion yeah. on something so but it is definitely affecting people but it's just I, then again and i also see in a video where it's like how can we continue to pretend that stuff like this in the world is not affecting us but we're expected to log on to our like daily that's lives that's what i'm saying like and yeah. it's like it's oh just it, because the war isn't here doesn't mean it's not affecting like we us, shouldn't like. have not that we shouldn't have it's great that we've access to see what's going on and see what's really happening or whatever but like there's an overconsumption of things happening in the world that mm-hmm. were so normalized and stuff whether it's something that's happening in a movie or a tv show or being able to look up crazy videos on the internet we're so i think like desensitized to certain things that like because it's on the internet it doesn't fully register that it's real people yeah. or real lives it's, it's or not really, real till it's at your own yeah though, you know what i mean i think sometimes i just we're so think privileged about that, that, in that way though yeah so a hundred percent and it's like sometimes i think about that and like it's crazy and it makes me think like in a history books i'm like i feel like when i'm remembering not remembering because i wasn't there but like thinking back on like history i'm like oh my god like it's crazy to think that this was going on in that country and it's mad to think that other people in other countries mm. had no idea or were just living their daily lives Cause, like back then they hadn't even got internet so it's like yeah. one side of the world didn't know about it till it was in a history book well, it's like, like it's basically just history repeating itself yeah like have they like, not learned anything yeah it's just like sad like world war Two, and now all this war today like mm, like if that is have literally has have we not learned anything yeah sad do you know what i mean and this is like that's what i'm afraid of like, like is this the kickoff now that's the thing it's like is when does it kickoff? get to the knock-on effect of like like maybe it's on everybody's doorstep then like is this a where it does become another world war mm. where the countries that are funded on either side are they gonna need be yeah. called upon like i scratch your back now it's time to scratch mine yeah like is that what's gonna not that i know much about wars at no. all like but is this it seems like every year there's it there's well i know like obviously that side of the world has always had wars and stuff like yeah that, but now it's like it's on a different scope mm. plus they're all fucking seeing who has a bigger ego with their machines and their guns and yeah it's just oh. who's funding who and then there's other bigger because see they all want the big countries to fund them like china mm like america yeah there's mortars all over america being like oh we're giving this money to this and then they're like oh but we've no money for the homeless or the healthcare when it would cost a fraction of what they're just sending them weapons and i'm like oh priorities please it's yeah. crazy but because modern warfare is it, it's all about like helping other countries so when they're in debt they can help them yeah back. that's like, what it is I mean? yeah well i know that's part of it i'm sure mm-hmm. there's a much more complex answer yeah but i, I don't, don't know it's scary and i feel bad for anyone that's like yeah living like true. going through anything rather yeah. they be even like if they're jewish if they're muslim whatever they are like it's obviously going to affect them because it's like these two religions on the other side of the world are having this battle mm. and it's fucking scary like yeah it's sad it's scary that like like primarily i, I don't know much about it, but like it's sad if you are battling over i know it's always over land like but why does it always have to come down to like what someone's beliefs are yeah like what what, what it seems like it's such a scapegoat kind of i don't know if that's just like because in history that's like the biggest thing yeah. the law is the religion and the re- like the religious beliefs are the law like you even see that in ireland especially like down in the country or like maybe grandparents like people are a bit more old-fashioned like they're it they're so involved not involved but like the word of the bible is literally the gospel like or mm. it's like that it's i find though you know this this is just a quick little thing to before we finish up like because yeah. because you have this we're talking about like religion in that sense like i find though do you think in like american catholics are on a different scope than irish catholics in the um, sense of like i know i was watching something and i can't remember what it was and your man was like oh i was raised I was raised he was American he was like I was raised Catholic and we couldn't do this and we wouldn't do that I'm like even the holiest of holy in Ireland doesn't even withstand that 
and I can't remember what it was, but I was like, that's a different level. Yeah, I think. No, I'm not talking about, oh, we went to church every Sunday. Mm. And the, m- most Catholics, that's a given, or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't have to be on a Sunday. Ireland, they go any day. Like, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it was something, and I was like, they're like, Americans are just, re- like, they, when someone says, oh, I was brought up Catholic. In an, when you even hear like say a celebrity saying like oh I was raised Catholic mm. you automatically think oh my god extreme religious yeah because it's American yeah American yeah American yeah. Catholics are like still but to then this I don't day know and then I'm like it's... and I'm not saying that about everyone but yeah. that's how it's but with, in Ireland if you were like oh I, well, I was raised Catholic they're just like oh yeah like, like there's definitely a different level to it in a sense that yeah we're Catholic but in no means was I a practicing Catholic ever Until yeah when you I, left school yeah when I was in when I was in school it was like the communion confirmation we'd have a yearly mass stuff like that as a kid didn't give a fuck about it I never was brought to mass by my ma except for like the anniversary of her because she had passed and then that was it or like if someone passed, I was at a funeral, like they were, or a wedding, they were the only or reason. Where or like, or I don't know, I've never, I don't think I've ever met someone from Ireland that were like heavy Catholics. As in, it was church every Sunday, it was promise rings, it was. I don't, don't think I've ever met like, someone with promise. Do you get me? Like it's nothing like that. Where purity rings. Pure, yeah, like yeah. Sorry, that, purity yeah. rings. Like I've never met someone like Not that. Not like American Catholic. But I don't know. Then maybe are we just exposed to it in America? Because a lot of things are made into tv shows like you see it in movies you see it in tv series like that really like the father's a pastor and the ma's there baking the cakes and it, like literally you can't mm. wear it like you can't be gay you can't bleed and do art and Not like that it wasn't like that in Ireland that's what i'm saying like enough, i think there's I definitely similarities it was to the level they make it out to be mm. i don't know if it's just more like I've never it, witnessed it. I've never yeah. experienced well, it. Even if you watch, like, say, the Magdalene sisters. Did you ever see the Magdalene sisters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's strict. Like, they had children out of wedlock. So it was like, oh my God, you just have to go to the, you have to go to a boarding house. Like, yeah. Like, fair enough, that happened. But, like, they were strict in that sense of, like, who you married when you had kids. Like, certain mm. things. But I don't ever believe in Ireland it was, I don't know. I think when I was listening to your it man, seems different. I feel yeah, it's like very di- that's there's what very. It is. Like, I it think is. there's certain parts of Ireland, like or certain people that in I don't know how to word it. That like if you were really, I think it was more sorry, more if you were actually a member of the like the community as in I don't want to paint everyone same brush, but like nuns and priests there's a lot more information and i feel like a lot more history within the what would you call it the organization of being catholic or being christian it's a lot more darker where i feel like what we know of america or what we see a lot is a lot more like just really strict rules and you have Mm -hmm. to like it's like respect your elders but on a different level like if I tell you not to cross that road, you're not cross. Like it's. I'm really it seems down more to the word of God. Like, yeah, like, like they'll like, quote Bible. Like they're yeah, real, like but like, it, Bible it seems, skill and stuff like yeah, that. Like in Ireland, we don't have that. Yeah, that yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it seems more like Sunday skill. Yeah, it's like oh, you can't be. It, I feel like I don't know in Ireland. I, I feel like Irish people are very like they're very opinionated. So then when it comes to oh, and they're they, laughing they, oh, your face. Yeah, and it can be like, oh, they can't know that happened. So off you go and have your baby out yeah, or, and come back when you're done kind of thing. Like in that kind of way. Like I'll, it's, I'll it, say it's mine. Yeah, like it, it can go. Man, I'm like, not saying this is everyone, but I feel like it can go a lot darker than your, I'm not saying there's enough bleeding. There was a lot of shame around stuff. Like yeah, Ireland, it's I a lot. More, yeah, that's not the word. saying maybe we would, we would know if there was more shame in America. I don't know. Like, yeah. But you don't hear of much in the sense of like them being sent off. Yeah. It's more I, do you know like what it is? Do you know what I found the word? Or... In America, it's a lot more culty. Like cult yeah, Like it's yes. it's a large, large community that kind of way. Yeah. Mm. Where in Ireland, it's like, oh. Like the, it's like the priest is like. Ireland is just everyone's Catholic. Yeah. Until there was Protestants and then there was. Yeah, Catholics. yeah. And then obviously people who moved there. But like, it's, yeah. It's more the priest and then like the nuns like they're like what they say is gospel so like families mm. might take opinions off them or like it's i think 
the Catholic Church, in a sense, is taken in a lot with law, and, like the history of Ireland. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. It's like, and a lot of opinions, like if they have an opinion anyway, of, yeah. if they have an opinion on something, it's like, oh, like whatever it is. Where I feel like in America, maybe because America's so big, like that, it's a lot more niche community, like mm. culty vibes. Yeah, I and it's real, real, like you can't be wearing that to Sunday church. Yeah, like it's very, like uh, yeah, like or you can't, like real, like oh, we'll have to ask the priest. Yeah, yeah. and not that they didn't do that blind, in Ireland. I like, feel like either. blindness as well. It's like oh. D- Jenny and Dave wouldn't be having sex. They have purity rings on. Like, I don't know. Mm. I just pictured like moves like that where it's real, like no, blissful ignorance. Igre- like, yeah. like yeah. Oh. No, don't get me wrong. Good for you if you are Catholic and yeah, you, everyone can have their like, beliefs. Everyone there. can have their religion. Like, good for you if you that's what you believe yeah. and whatever. Like, I don't know what I believe. I'm a bit yeah. like one foot in, one foot out. Like, yeah. Like, if you can turn water into wine, sh- show me. Be mm. it like. Oof. Yeah, Pass I know the glass. Some, most of them are just metaphors, like to be honest. Like that's the thing, and I, that's the thing that I think I struggle with literal. believing is because it's so put down your throat sometimes by people that like this is the word of God and this, this happened. Is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to yeah, Lord. Like this happened, and the contradictory of love thy neighbor as you love yourself, but then like oh, two men can't be with each other. Or, that's a more. I don't think it even says that that's in the I commandments. Say. It doesn't say anything about gender. No. It doesn't say it. This is where people manipulate That's what I said. That's what I hate. And I think that's what guides me to be like, oh, I don't believe in that because I don't associate with them but people. But not all priests believe that. No, I know. Because I think there was, quote me, don't quote me on this, I should say. There was a thing on RTE mm. and a drag queen in Dublin yeah. and a Dublin priest sat down together and had dinner. Oh. And they had to I feel talk like I've seen a trailer or a clip for this and show. And they had to like talk about and the funny thing is one of the girls I went to school with her ma was on it she was no Muslim way. she was a converted Muslim from, from being Catholic and she oh. was on having a conversation with someone else like um, the priest and the drag queen were having a full conversation and it was a lovely conversation yeah like, and that's the thing, like that's so like, down yeah. to earth like that's what I mean like I don't want to paint everyone the same brush but that's what deters me when I'm like well I they're not my beliefs like so, like there's a good few things in it that are supposedly also, in the bible that's like they're not my beliefs so yeah I can take from mm. the bible or the religion we have my to beliefs as well priests are kind of also in a chokehold when it comes to the vatican yeah like a chokehold mm. no matter what what like uh, anything that they do yeah goes higher up the scale eventually yeah exactly too. do you know what i mean it's like their boss yeah so but that's like every religion that's gets, it like yeah but, um like the yeah. vatican is one of the most powerful Influ- influen- influential that's the word I'm trying the to say the most influential influential yeah. bleeding organisations yeah in, in, and that's why in men think about the Roman Empire all the time <laughs> that's true and I well, think about when the Roman Empire was being built it was uh, they believed in gods mm. it was not yeah. even Catholic I like that idea I do I actually did classical studies in secondary school did you? wow yeah that was a class yeah Come here. that's why I went to Italy after first year. Ah, mm. I thought you just went on a vacay. Well, but, um, it was a vacay, like, well, yeah, it was connected was good, yeah. to the classical studies, uh, and okay. it was so good. I love that. It was, uh, classical studies was a good class. Living your living your dreams. We're trying to remember all the, uh, the God's names when, like, when they're not all in Hercules. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> I know the ones from Hercules. <laughs> like, yeah, like, but, oh. no, it's in, the stories are interesting. Yeah. Obviously far-fetched. Yeah. But again, like I don't everything. know if it's, like, metaphor, but, like, there's, there's so much incest so much scandal mm. in the in the Roman gods and the Greek gods they're yeah. very similar like scandal and gas it basically it's like a soap <clears throat> opera yeah. it's like a soap opera of all these stories like drama like it give carnation shit for that money like yeah definitely it was so interesting keeping up with the Kardashians keeping up with the gods keeping up with the gods mm. Roman Empire keeping up with the Roman Empire <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the roman empire oh, literally Were but you? um i think we'll wrap this up because yeah, the voices are flashing they're going dead and we've gone on multiple tangents from iconic women to the fucking to religion wars, and to religion war. and yeah we're not professional so don't take any of your opinions to I heart i look at this camera once me either i got my eyes on you um but anyways yeah if you're listening to the audio please give us a follow whether it's spotify or apple and a review we would really really appreciate if you're watching the video over on youtube of course please like come subscribe it will mean the world and our socials instagram tiktok are at the weird girls club where we post updates um yeah see you in the next one bye bye